The mother of the teenager who was killed in Carmen on the weekend is grieving and speaking out. She believes child welfare authorities ignored her concerns about safety, placing her daughter in a potentially dangerous situation. She told her story to the CBC's Karen Pauls. I should have fought harder. I'm so sorry. A mother's pain. The loss of her firstborn daughter in horrible circumstances, made worse because Juliet Hastings says it all could have been prevented. Something dark was just festering, and I just didn't want my daughter to be caught in the crossfire. Maya's body was found Sunday in a home in a small rural Manitoba community. She lived there with her foster cousin, 30-year-old Amanda Clearwater, who was found dead in a ditch earlier that morning. The bodies of Clearwater's three children were pulled from a burning car not long after. Clearwater's partner, Ryan Manokisic, accused of killing them. Hastings said Maya moved in with Clearwater and Manokisic after an argument last spring. Hastings grew up with Clearwater, but she was worried about Manokisic, who is on bail and on court-ordered treatment for mental health and addictions. They didn't do any uh, safety checks. They didn't do any criminal record checks. The system didn't work at all. They didn't do their job. Winnipeg Child and Family Services wouldn't comment, deferring questions to the provincial government. The Premier says he can't comment on specific cases. But we also have a responsibility as government when terrible things like this happen in our province to ask the question, what went wrong? And more importantly, how are we going to fix it? How are we going to protect children, protect women, protect young people? Hi, my name is Maya and this is my story. Hastings says she's just trying to remember Maya as her bubbly, happy girl who had a strong faith and loved her family. I've noticed I'm getting along with my family a lot better than before. She cherishes a text from Maya the day she was killed. How she much she loves me and how much she is sorry that she didn't show her appreciation before for me. Opportunities now lost forever. But I just want to see my baby. I want to hold her. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.